Man, what park is teeming with A-list nannies? I want to know the answer to this one. <laughs> Welcome back, internet people. My name is Ryan. I'm playing Dusty Rose. Is my fucking phone Hello. Is Do you have a few minutes to chat? I didn't answer the fucking phone, Daniel. All right, what the hell is wrong? You sound worried. Well, I'm a bit concerned about something, and you are the only person on the block I really trust to share this with. <laughs> you really shouldn't trust me with anything. Make it fast, Daniel. I have a lot of things to do today. It's Frank. He's been in his room ever since the fashion show ended. He seemed fine beforehand, but when I got up this morning, he wouldn't come out for breakfast. Really? What's wrong with him? What did he say to you? That's just it. He's locked in his bedroom, and he won't come out. I hear him on his computer typing away, but he refuses to answer me now. What is he doing on his computer? Oh god, the music just sort of came out of nowhere. Much like... D d uh, Frank is, is coming... Onto, onto his computer. Thank you, thank you, musical interlude, for making that entire bit of garbage possible. I really don't know. I'm at my wit's end, and I've run out of things to say to him. Could you please come over and see if he'll reason with you? Okay, Daniel, don't worry, I'm coming over soon. Apparently Carlos needs something. I learned this as he walked past, I think, is what happened. Uh, I don't care about Carlos, though. You know what, let's do the Frank Fox thing, why not? Who cares? I was gonna find out why my husband was a lying piece of human garbage, uh, by talking to Bree. Remember how he's totally fucking cheating on me? But, a Frank Fox plot has fallen into my lap, and I really like Frank Fox. He's weird. And, uh, anti-social. Please go talk to my brother. Nice day to you too, Daniel. Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's standing suspiciously by his dresser. Go away! Leave me alone! Frank, it's your neighbor! Please open the door! Your brother is worried about you. I'm worried about you. Seriously, please just go away. There's nothing wrong. I, I just need to be alone now. I'm working out some complicated problems in here. Do the socks go into the bottom drawer or the second to bottom drawer? Because the bottom drawer is where I keep my dildo collection. Come on, Frank. Clearly there's a problem. Stop acting like a child and tell us what's wrong. Your brother was worried enough to pester me <laughs> into coming over to help you. I appreciate your concern, but I really need to be alone. It's best for everybody to just back off for a while until I figure out what to do. In a few days, I won't be a burden on any of you. Oh god, he's gonna kill himself. Oh, this is terrible. We're worried about you, Frank. What do you mean you won't be a burden on us? Are you planning on going somewhere? Like to heaven? Listen, I know I am acting strange, and I have good reason to. I'm sorry that I've caused concern, but I can't talk about what's going on until I know it's safe. The less you know, the better you'll be. This is also cryptic. It's ridiculous. I tried helping Daniel by coming over here to talk to you, but I have had enough. I know this is idiosyncratic behavior. You'll just have to trust me this time. Are you standing out there, Daniel? I'm here, Frank. Are you going to come out? No. But I was wondering if you could order me a large pepperoni pizza and slide it under the door. If you take it out of the box and put it on some newspaper, it should fit. Okay, Frank. I'll do it if you want me to. I just really want you to confide in me what the problem is. This whole thing is so strange. Seems normal to me. Someone behind a door yelling, Don't come in here! I'm a burden on everyone! Can you slide a pizza under the door? <laughs> no, this is... This is too normal. <laughs> normal. Thin crust, Daniel. Thin crust, extra pepperoni. <laughs> Enjoy the pizza, Frank. Daniel, I'll talk with you later, I guess. If Frank ever comes out of his room, just, you know, you let me know. <laughs> Yay. Alright. 
I'm so glad that I went into that. Now I, now I get to enjoy Bree. Bree's gonna tell me what to do with my uh, cheating husband. My cheating piece of shit garbage husband. Bray. Hi there. Come on in. Thanks, Bree. I won't take too much of your time. I know you are probably getting ready for a poker night and all. What is it with people and not wanting to use contractions in this? Don't be silly. Come on in and sit down. What's on your mind? Well, Bree, I received this locket in the mail today, and it's a puzzling mystery. Oh, interesting. Let me take a look at it. You should let Gabrielle take a look at it. She's the jewelry expert around here. Actually, I showed it to her. Get this. She said the teenager in the picture looked like me. Ah! 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 Ah, while I was reading that, I looked up uh, uh, for a moment at that that fucking flower arrangement. Which looks honestly a little bit like various colored buttholes just stuck to stems. <laughs> and on display. <laughs> anyway, yeah, the teenager apparently looks like me. Isn't that funny? Well, I don't know. I don't see that really. Did Gabrielle say it was worth anything? It has no real value, unfortunately. I have something else that's bothering me, though. Can you, Bree, can you give me your thoughts? Oh, really? What's on your mind? Well, my husband called me today, and we had an interesting di discussion. I may be just paranoid, but I have a feeling he's having an affair with his secretary. What gives you that feeling? What did he say? Well, he called to tell me that he was taking his secretary Jackie out for a fancy lunch. Then he said he was thinking of buying her an expensive necklace. He's been coming home late. He looks at me differently now. And he told me over the phone that he was putting his penis in her vagina. Wait, that last part didn't happen. Well, if I were you, I would stop by the office unannounced a few times. Just drop in and snoop around to see what's going on in there. <laughs> Information is power. And without it, you are helpless. It's awful. I want to know. I really do. But I'm afraid to know at the same time. Actually, no, I like this. Sneaking around the office. Have you, have you ever done that before? You know there might not be anything going on. But you'll never know the truth unless you confront him face to face. And try to catch him with his hand in the cookie jar. Hmm. You are probably right, Bree. If I don't take action, I'll never get to the bottom of this. Maybe I'll drop in on him before poker night tonight sometime after 5 p.m. That's the spirit. Go get all private eye on your husband. All right, fantastic. I'm going to do that. Hello, how are you? Oh my god, I can't even deal with this. This game has become so jammed packed with just like random bullshit. <laughs> I mentioned Skyrim earlier. <laughs> Why, yes, I would like to go to Half Moon Camp and kill the bandit leader. Uh, very good, thank you. There is always something going on, going on around here. Let me try that again. I'm doing really fucking great. There's all this shit happening, but it keeps stuff from getting boring. Hopefully the excitement hasn't kept you too busy. Speaking of which, are you able to come in for our next session soon? I have some time available if you're interested. Oh my god. Well, sure. That would be fantastic, I guess. Well, why don't you just come on down when it's convenient, and we'll talk this out. Until then. Alright. God, this game is just... I gotta do so much stuff. I gotta talk to my son, apparently, because my son and Frank play the same online video game. And then I gotta find... And then I gotta... Go to spy on my husband after 5 p.m. specifically for some particular reason. Um, and then I gotta talk to the therapist, and then I gotta go to poker night, and I gotta do this all in like three hours of game time. I'm gonna fucking do it. I'm gonna actually do it. Go! Talk to him! Get- get up! I'm running out of time to do a bajillion things. Hey, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? I'm sort of fucking busy right now. I have a lot of things on my mind. Is it important? Well, I know I'm not supposed to play video games until my homework is done.
but I was just checking the game forums for a minute. Oh my god, son, those are go go like, go on, but they will rot your brain. I was just taking a five minute break from my history assignment, and I noticed on the game forum website that Frank Fox had posted a weird message. I mean? figured I should tell an adult or something. Oh, I'm the adult in this situation, I guess. <laughs> what do you mean weird? What did it say? Well, it was sort of a goodbye letter. He says stuff about being worried that someone is after him or something, but it's pretty vague. He says that he'll be quitting the game for a while and may never come back, depending on whether he gets hunted down in real life. It was really freaky. I think you should take a look at it. That is rather troubling. Can you show me where it is online? Sure, Mom. It's on the Utter Warfare community page. I really hope he's going to be okay. I barely know him, but I have fun playing online with him. All right. I'm sure we'll be fine, honey. Don't worry. I'll take care of it from here. All right. Perfect. Get to the get to the fucking computer, Blanca. Get run. Why? Oh, God. I wish I could just make you awkwardly, flailly run. But instead, you're just going to walk normally as if we don't have 80,000 things to do. Is this what being a housewife is like? I never want to be a housewife in real life. Our war. Search. Community forums. Sorry, I got bail. It's been a fun ride, grunts. Don't is save us double trouble. We've had some good times, fought some memorable battles. But situations in my real life have occurred that sadly forced me to salute you all and say goodbye. I'm going to be fighting a battle in real life that will likely require all of my cunning and battle tactics. <laughs> oh my god, he's my favorite guy. It seems my enemies are fun to be down and are nearby. I will be going into hiding now and further communication it will be impossible. As I mentioned before, it was a pleasure to serve with you all, and I know you'll carry on the battle without me. Fight on, men! You suck at this game anyway. I could share this with Frank Fox. But... No, I'm gonna take the Chrysler Pacifica first. Plus, I have a feeling like this Frank Fox thing is probably one of the main plot elements in this story segment. Story segment? I don't know what to call these. Time after which the game just throws money at me because they expect me to be spending it on clothes and stuff, but I absolutely ref refuse because I have the best clothes. Oh, wait, it's after five. Hello. What a pleasant surprise. Hmm. You're still here. I thought the sheriff closed the local whorehouse. Where is my husband? No need to be bitter just because I'm younger and prettier than you. By the way, how do you like the new diamond bracelet your husband bought for me? Nice, isn't it? I'm not worried about him giving a small gift from time to time. He likes to keep the help happy. Look, I know you're jealous of me. I would be too. I mean, let's face it. I'm at least 20 years younger than you. I cannot believe that you can fucking talk to me like that. What is going on in that defective mind of yours? You need to get a grip on reality and hold on tight. Just call me in a few days and let me know if that ointment does the trick. Thank you, Doctor. And thanks again for scheduling me in so late. I'll let my friends know what great bedside manner you have. Uh, the, the, the slutty woman that my husband is seeing uh, appears not to be able to move her lips. Oh, hi, honey. I'm surprised to see you here at this time of day. Hi, honey. Jackie was just showing me her new bracelet. It's a, it's a nice gift. It's nice, isn't it? Just a small token of the hard work it takes to get accepted to medical school. She deserved more, but I didn't want to spoil her. Oh, I don't think... I don't think you really had to do anything to spoil her. It's totally awesome. It's the nicest gift I think I've ever received. Oh, I just hope for I can God pay you sake, in some Jackie, small way. shut up already and mind your own business. All right, honey, let's not get all worked up. Why don't you just calm down and enjoy a fun evening out with the girls? I have some paperwork to finish up here and then I'll be home. I am not leaving until you tell me the nature of your relationship with Jackie. 
And it's not because I like being here and standing on what appears to be the ugliest area rug and ugliest carpet in the whole world, so you can tell that I'm being serious. Don't be ridiculous. I have a perfectly professional relationship with Jackie. I would never cheat on you. I love you more than anything in the world and, and would never do anything if I thought it would harm you. Well, he's like, I said, I guess that you might be your young secretary, you're hurting me. Please, just come home with me now. I need to know that you're not here with her while I'm out at poker. Well, I have a bunch of work I needed to get done tonight, hon. It's tough starting up a new practice in a new town. I have to be a doctor and a salesman these days. That's why I stay so late. I'm not really giving you a choice, dear. Let's go. All right, you win. I'm light on patience tomorrow. I can get a lot done then. Uh, Jackie, I'm going home with my wife now. Can you finish those applications I had started before you leave? Of course, Doctor. I'll lock up and see you in the morning. Have a great night. Have fun gambling with the girls. I'll take my own car so you don't have to drive me into work tomorrow, dear. I'm gonna stop by the store on my way home to pick up some wine. I'll see you at home soon. I did it! Oh fuck, I missed the, the, the thing with the chair. Oh god, the thing with the chair. <laughs> That's what that man's name is now. Christ, I feel like wait, a lot of things actually happened. I should make that an episode. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. I, I've lost track of time because this game is just so intensely interesting. One moment, I'm going to check my clock because I have a clock. <laughs> yeah, I've been playing this for like 25 minutes. I'm going to stop playing it now. I'll edit it down to something less than 25 minutes though, just for you. Thanks for watching, you the person for whom I edited this video. I love you.